Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. Healing belongs to us. It's the bread of this kingdom. It is the food of our family. Whatever you bear on your body which is not glorifying God should not stay there. You will be the first stone from your family, from your generation that will do the things that South Africa had never seen before. You may be the last one born in your family, but that does not make you the last. Prophetically from tonight, we move you from where you were in your birth and we declare you are the first stone. First stone is not the older one. It's not older. God bypassed seven men to choose David. And the seven were angry. And David was not likely to be chosen. Because you see, David was not born by the woman in the home. He was born by the woman outside. You know the one I'm talking about? The one outside. Everyone who have mocked your God. Who have loved at your worship at your commitment to this house they will follow you to thanksgiving they will follow you to thanksgiving this is a presentation of hallelujah ministries international hallelujah hallelujah The word hallelujah and the name of this ministry means you are already celebrating God before there is a celebration. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give him the glory. Wherever you are tonight hearing the sound of my voice. I believe this week is your week of a turning point. Yeah. This week is the week of your turning point. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I don't know who it is for, but I know there is a change coming to your life. Yes, 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 yes. Look at someone tell them, change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. And it won't be long. Lift one hand towards heaven as a point of contact with the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Omnipotent power hey. of mercy and grace. Spirit of the living God. Pour your presence on your people. Let there be a freshness of favor. Freshness of blessing. Freshness of glory. Let there be healing in this place. Let there be deliverance in this place. Touch someone tonight. Minister to them in a powerful way. Give a word in season. Let lives be transformed. We thank you. We say it is already done. Oh, yes. It is already done. Already. already done. Go ahead. Give God praise like it's already done. Come on. Give him the glory. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh, bless. Hallelujah. Oh, bless. together give God praise again Woo. you may be seated in the presence of the Lord such a great joy to be here tonight 
must tell you you are in a great house I said you are in a great house I repeat you are in a great house I know a good house when I see one and you are in a good house the word of the Lord is in this house the presence of the Lord is in this house the power of the Lord is in this house the anointing of the Lord is in this house and the man of God is in this house you are in a good house and I believe that the grace of God on this house will continue to rest on your life if you believe it shout a good amen, amen. sit down sit down sit down I don't need to say much about your pastor but you've got to understand yeah I live in the United Kingdom I've lived there 35 years but I'm an African I'm very African I'm an African's African and in the few years I've lived on earth I know that the challenge of Africa is quality leadership so when God blesses you with a good leader you must learn to celebrate I said you must learn to appreciate when God blesses you with quality leadership you must learn to celebrate and appreciate and thank God for quality leadership. Put your hands together for Pastor Alf. Look out tonight. Let's bless the Lord for him. Let's bless the Lord for the call of God. For the grace on his life. And I have news for you. You haven't seen anything yet. I have not seen. Ears have not heard. Hasn't come to the understanding of man. What God still has in store. Greater things are coming. Better days are coming. And I want you to know it won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. This is a prophetic service. So you gotta learn how to open your mouth and be your own prophet. It won't be long. To God Almighty. I feel the anointing in this place. I feel the anointing in this place. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Ah, Rabo Shaka did it here. Somebody get ready because the power of God will touch you tonight. The hand of the Lord will bless you tonight. You will never be the same from tonight. God will give you a testimony. If you believe it, say, I receive it. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about healing the sick and setting free those who were harassed by the devil or oppressed or harassed by the devil for God was with him healing belongs to us it's the bread of this kingdom it is the food of our family whatever you bear on your body which is not glorifying God should not stay there why Matthew 8 17 says that it may be fulfilled which was written by the prophet Isaiah that he himself took our infirmities and diseases if he took it then it's not yours if he took it then it's not yours it belongs to the tooker it belongs to the one who took it it belongs to the taker he took it so I declare tonight healing on someone a couple of weeks back as I finished ministering in our church in London, I was walking towards our office building. We have 12 buildings on our property. And I was walking towards the office building when one of our staff was already kneeling in front of the office building and said, Pastor Matthew, they just diagnosed that I have tumor the size of a human fist in my head. I've not been able to sleep well. I have continuous headache. Laid hands on her, prayed for her. 
Then I said, you know what? I'm a little tired now. Not that the anointing is stopped by tiredness, but come to the evening service. Bring a bottle of anointing oil. She came to the evening service after the service. I'm about to anoint her. Pastor, the lady said, hold on, sir, hold on, sir. She removed her wig. I didn't know why she removed the wig. <laughs> Maybe she didn't want the prayer to go to Brazil or, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Amen. Ah, Jesus, have mercy. long story short she was to be operated upon on Tuesday anointed her on, Mon on Sunday Monday she goes to the hospital for another scan on Tuesday they call her and said don't come in they said we'll call you on Thursday they call her and they said we don't know what happened but this thing has shrunk the glory give him the glory hey, hey, hey. sit down sit down they said uh, we see you in three months time then they called her again and said three did we say three months we can't see anything anymore don't come anymore the tumor disappeared. The God who did that will do yours. He will give you a testimony. He will give you healing testimony. He will touch your body. He will deliver you. If you believe it, say, I receive it. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Preaching last year in Paris, the church of one of my sons, a church called ICC. Seven partially deaf people, their ears popped open. Went to their church in Brazzaville March this year. Deafness again, their ears popped open. Only one struggling, her ear wouldn't open. I told her, stand aside, watch others. Because when you see a miracle, it increases your faith. Yeah. After I finished with them, the Lord told me she has a forgiveness problem. I said, you need to release, I think it's your ex-husband. She said, yes. I said, you got to release him. And the moment she forgave him and released him, boom, her ear opened. Yeah. He himself took your infirmity. I was preaching in the church in Lagos, Nigeria, Covenant Christian Center. As I was driving there, the Lord showed me that there is a person with hole in the heart. And there was a little boy. His mother had waited for a child for 10 years. When he was finally born, he had two holes in his heart. Couldn't feed him very well. Couldn't breastfeed him. Country has challenged with medicine. So they were getting ready to take him to India. And now come that day. And I prayed. Mother goes back to the doctors. She said, check my son, the man of God, I've prayed. When they checked the boy, they couldn't find the holes anymore. Come on, give Jesus a clap offering tonight. Your victory is in your praise. Wherever you are standing tonight, I want you to know, power of God will touch you. The past eight, nine days, I've had to be in six countries, New York, Toronto, Accra, Ghana, Lagos, then London, left London yesterday night to be here. But in Toronto, there was a woman, she could just not bend. Power of God hit her. And then suddenly she, she said, I couldn't do this in a long time. Wherever you are right now, God is going to touch you. And your life will never be the same. I want you to lay hands on the left side of your chest where your heart is. The left side of your chest where your heart is even if I didn't call the health issue and you're in this building and you need a healing when I pray I want you to say amen like thunder are you ready because in the same church where the boy with two holes in his heart was healed there was a lady there 
who had gone to London for operation on her back and the pain wouldn't go. But in that service, the pain left. What the doctors could not do, Dr. Jesus did. Because he has a covenant with you. I like to say God has a covenant with me. Say it again, God has a covenant with me. Exodus 15, 26 is a covenant statement. It says, if you shall obey the Lord your God to do according as is written in his word, he will not put any of the diseases of Egypt upon you because then he signs, I am Jehovah Rapha. He signed that contract. In fact, a covenant is stronger than a contract. Because a covenant, you need to go through very difficult processes to make a covenant happen. Are you ready for your healing? Yes. I'd like you to say, I'm ready. I'm ready. And look at me. It is not the intensity of my voice that will bring your healing. It is not my screaming that will bring your healing. It is the fact that I know this Jesus that I have been serving for 47 years. Been born again 47 been preaching 45 I know this Jesus I've seen too many healings I've seen deaf mute who was 32 years old in a city called Ho in Ghana H-O I don't know why they spell a city with two letters Ho and the deaf mute pastor spoke and heard for the first time are you ready I said are you ready Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay the hands of faith on this man and woman. I take authority over migraine. I take authority over intestinal disorder. I take authority over every form of lump, every cancerous cell in their body. I take authority tonight over chest pain and any health issue I did not mention. I command your healing. I command your healing in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? amen? From tonight you will testify. Your healing will manifest. You will do what you could not do before. Migraine is leaving right now. The headaches are leaving right now. The food poisoning is stopping right now. The intestinal disorder is stopping right now. The cancer cell is dissolving right now. Shout, I receive it. Put your hands together. Give God a praise. Give him the praise. Bless him. Come on, come on. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. He picked five smooth stones, not jagged, because jagged stones don't go straight. The reason you've been going through some things is because God is getting you ready. General Eliab got angry when David showed up. He said, what have you come to do? You've come to see the war, haven't you? Excuse me, whoever wakes up to go to battlefield to see how bullets fly, that's not the problem. He was afraid that this young man who was anointed in private might get another breakthrough in public. Woo! But listen tonight, they can't stop you. David was the first stone, like the stone in his hand. King Saul could not do anything. All the army of Israel could not do anything. But a boy who did not qualify, the book of Leviticus requires that if you will join the Israelite army, you must be 20 years old. David was 17. Did they say you don't qualify? But he was raised by God prophetically to remove the shame from the face of Israel. Everyone who have mocked your God, who have laughed at your worship, at your commitment to this house, they will follow you to Thanksgiving. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.